미국 캘리포니아에서 태어난 로버트 오버스트는 미국 스트롱맨 대회에서 3년 연속 탑3를 기록한 적이 있는 2m가 넘는 거구의 엘리트 선수입니다. 그의 기록은 벤치프레스 290, 스쿼트 430, 데드리프트 400으로 합계 1120입니다. 그런 그가 조 로건과의 인터뷰에서 데드리프트는 데드리프트로 경기에 참여하는 전문 선수들만 해야 하고 일반인은 절대로 해서는 안 된다고 언급한 적이 있습니다. 왜 그런 이야기를 했을까요? I went from football to strongman, and in football we've never done deadlifts. It was all hand cleans and power cleans. Which, by the way, just quick little tip: deadlifts. If you're if you're deadlifting to be a better deadlifter, fine. If you're not doing that for deadlift's sake, then don't fucking do it. The risk to reward ratio is a joke. For deadlifts. For deadlifts. Really? And a lot of people aren't going to like that I'm saying that. But if you go into any NFL uh, gym, in any Division One college football gym, in any athletics where people are actually getting paid and it matters what they're doing, they're not deadlifting. Really? They're hand cleaning and power cleaning. Why is that? Because the, the risk to reward ratio like there's it's so hard to be a great deadlifter and to not risk your low back and oh. to, to be using your upper back properly and you know just there's so many little uh, um, chances for you to get hurt. 이에 대하여 반대로 데드리프트를 옹호하는 레인 노튼의 이야기를 들어보겠습니다. 레인 노튼은 유명 트레이닝 프로그램인 PHAT의 개발자이자 피트니스계 저명 코치로서 본인 스스로 프로 파워리프팅 선수와 내추럴 보디빌더로도 활동했습니다. 또한 미국 일리노이 대학에서 영양과학 박사학위를 취득한 바 있습니다. I will say I always felt like I got pretty good results from deadlifting heavy. Now again, that's my feelings. Feelings aren't data. <laughs> you know, if you look at the actual statistics of injury rates in powerlifting, and Eric Helms talked about this. 에릭 헬름 박사는 뉴질랜드 오클랜드 공대 스포츠 과학자입니다. The rates of injuries in powerlifting, strongman, Olympic lifting versus other like organized sports, like team sports, like soccer, football, baseball, whatever. The lifting sports actually have a lower rate of injury. And amongst the three lifting sports, powerlifting actually has a lower rate of injury than Olympic lifting and strongman. And amongst the actual individual lifts themselves, back injury incidents is about the same as shoulder injury incidents. So it doesn't look like powerlifting is unique to back injuries. We may think about that because we hear people who go through injuries, myself included. But the fact of the matter is that you know a lot of people in your life who don't even do the powerlifts who probably have suffered back injuries, who have low back pain. So I think it's pretty unfair to single out the deadlift as kind of a, uh, an exercise that's going to lead to injuries or, or, um, or back pain. Now, obviously, there's a few things to unpack as well in terms of form. Eric Helms, again, brought up a good point, talking about if you go to a high school uh, football team strength and conditioning uh, class, you may not see the best form. <laughs> uh, in fact, college football teams are notorious for having just awful form on some of the main lifts. Now, I'm not saying that's every college team. I'm sure there's some really great strength and conditioning coaches out there who really emphasize form. Um, but obviously, if you're doing uh, a deadlift with improper core tightness or imp like lack of core strength, maybe getting a little bit too much uh, lumbar rounding, then you may be predisposing yourself for more injury risk. Also, if you're somebody who's playing like a college sport where you're, where you're doing an impact sport like football, and you're trying to throw deadlifts in there, I mean, just the amount of overall fatigue and stress on your body, maybe you're better off doing a trap bar deadlift or a rack deadlift or something like that. I think overall, I understand what Robert Obers was trying to say, but I would say that it's a lot more nuanced than that. And I would say that I think that there's benefits to deadlifts outside just getting stronger on the deadlift. And you don't need to necessarily avoid them if you're not a powerlifter. That being said, if you're not a powerlifter, then how much you use deadlift, you should kind of program it appropriately for your particular goals and what sport you're going to compete in. 대한 여러분의 생각은 무엇인가요?